Hello. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, what I want to talk about a um, little is with our similarity. Now, so far in this course, we've been talking about congruence, right? How to show that two angles are congruent. And then we even took into proofs with congruency, right? Remember we wrote proofs, wrote proofs, wrote proofs, said this was equal to this, this was equal to that. And then also we could say at the end, yeah, these two triangles are congruent by our congruency statement, which was side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, 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 side, and HL, right? Those are all ways we could show that one angle was congruent to another, meaning exactly the same shape and exactly the same size. Well, now what we're going to do is say, all right, how do we show things are similar? So previous in our notes, we talked about what is similarity compared to congruence. Similarity, remember, has exactly the same shape, but not necessarily the same size, right? They have the same shape, but not necessarily the same size. So there's three different ways we're going to be able to prove if two triangles are going to be similar. Okay, the first one is angle angle. All right, and I'll give you guys an example of each one of these in just a second. Angle angle, side side, and side angle side. Okay, so you're going to want to write these down because these are going to be helpful in finding determining are two triangles similar or not. Right? We've already now we know how to determine if they're congruent, but the tests for similarity are a little bit different. So for angle, angle, all we need to do is show that two angles are congruent, are similar. So let's just say we have triangle ABC and DEF. If I say that the measure of angle 1 is congruent to the measure of angle 3 and the measure of angle 2 is congruent to the measure of angle 4. So if you're looking at two triangles and you can determine that two triangles have exactly the same ang two angle measures that are corresponding angles and they're exactly the same, then you can say that triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. That's all you need. It's that much easier than congruency. Right? It's like, just got to find two, tri two, two, two angles. Then let's go and look at side side. Well, side side, guys, is going to be pretty much the exact same thing. If I can show that proportionally, that angle AB is proportional to DE and AC is proportional to DF, I only just need two sides. Well, how do we show things are proportional to each other? Because not, that's not congruent. Congruent was saying one measure was equal to the other, right? And we did those little hash, hash marks. So how do I show things are proportional? We use that by using a ratio. So therefore, if I can say that AB, AB is the same as DF, which is congruent to the ratio of AC over, I'm sorry, that's DE. So if you can show that two sides are proportional to each other, all right, then, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry, and all three, sorry, side, side, side. If you can show that all three are proportional to each other, sorry. So you have BC is proportional to EF. Okay. So as long as you can show that two si or three sides are proportional to each other, then you can prove that they are similar. And the last one is side angle side. And side angle side works is if you can show one set of angles are congruent and you have two proportional sides, which is the included angle. Remember we talked about included? So if we're talking about, if I was going to say that only measure of angle one and measure of angle three are congruent to each other, then these two sides would have to be proportional because that's the included angle. So therefore, I could say AB is proportional to DE, which is equal to um, AC, which is proportional to DF. And measure of angle 1 is congruent to measure of angle 3. All right. 
So there's three different ways, guys, for us to be able to, to, to determine congruency. Okay.